Seven and Rail Nine, male, white, elderly, black, high Whoa! Block! This bad. I got a hit and run. Blue man. Corner railing and press me. Son of a bitch just ruined my car. You! Step out of the van! Hands where I can see them! On the ground now. Uh, Christy Davies, thank you for agreeing to do this, Detective. Well, the way the chief put it, I didn't really have much of a choice. I guess I uh, drew the proverbial short straw. So, what exactly are you hoping to get here? Well, with all the tension between civilians and police officers lately, my goal is to give some honest insight into what it's really like to be a police officer in the heart of America. I'm not here to choose a side, just be true to my subject. And I figured my hometown was as good a place right, as any... All right, listen, look, uh, I'm sure that shit reads great in the page, okay? But if you want me to be open with you, you just gotta give it to me straight. I have my reasons, Detective. I 
you get your scar? Being a New York Times investigative journalist isn't always just awards and accolades. Sometimes finding out the truth leaves scars. Do you mind if I film you for this portion of the interview? Sure. <clears throat> Do you like your job, Detective Green? Yeah, it's all right, I guess. I got used to liking more. You like yours? Yeah, I do. This has changed a lot since I left. Yeah, lots changed. This place used to be all farms, now it's, uh, Condos, development. That's America. First on the scene? Yeah, no one's coming or out. Stay Did here. I, can I? Police, show me your hands! Those mannequins? What the hell are you doing? I almost shot you. The officer you left me with went around the back. stay put listen your captain signed off on this and i didn't sign up for this to sit on the sidelines so i'm sorry but i'm coming in Dummies playing the game. Nine twenty five is your badge number. I'm good with numbers. I remember yours. Who's the other number?
most people go fishing in retirement, Archer. Do they? People don't go fishing when they retire. No. What they do is they hang around waiting for their uh, pension checks to kick in and then wonder whatever happened to my life. Still doing crosswords, huh? Why not? You doing them Latin? Well, yeah. Know that? I'm an altar boy. Way back. That's where I learned my Latin. Once an older boy, always an older boy, huh? Oh, that was funny. Never thought of it that way. Have you been? Good. You look prosperous. Yeah, you too, man. You're looking good. <laughs> well, you you working out? <laughs> I'm working out. <laughs> So this is it, huh? 36 years working homicide and you end up outside a dive bar doing crossword puzzles. That's right. That upsets you in some way? It upset me. I'm very happy with it. I like to watch the world because uh, I never sleep. Yeah. Yeah, me neither. Yeah? You want to talk some more about this nonsense, or you want to tell me what's on your mind? There's a body over at Waywood Elementary. Female, late 20s, hanged with a bow cut in her. Almost perfect circle. I mean, he took his time doing it. Displaying her for us. For us? Both our badge numbers were etched onto a desk at the scene. Serious? You tell me. Autopsies this morning. Why don't you come on down, take a peek at the Vic crime scene photos. See if you can figure out why this perp is calling us out. Does it remind you of anything? I don't think so. Is it? Doesn't look familiar. It is a different MO. Hey, donut shots open. I'm buying free donuts. You got them last time. It's a highlight of my day. You know, for me, it's all the same. Still uh, catching bad guys. What brought you back? Personal reasons. Look, let's just uh, keep this about the job, okay? I'm just trying to get a better sense of who you are. Audiences really connect with personal stories of their subjects. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Oh, am I bothering you? I'm sorry, sir. There's no information. Will you just let me know when finding out what happened to my wife is a priority, asshole? Miss Davies, I trust that my detective is giving you everything you need? Oh, yeah. We're uh, tethered at the hip. <clears throat> Miss Davies, I just want to remind you that the body that you saw was a person with a family, friends, a life. So I trust that you'll treat anything that you saw with absolute sensitivity. Definitely. And you know, the mayor may have signed off on this all-access pet project, but I didn't. If you print anything that compromises the work of my detectives in this case, you will find yourself standing in a court of law. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Yes, Captain. Can you excuse us, please? Thank you. Let me talk to you about Archer. Hello. Not home. Uh, you know, most people go fishing. Oh, you know, Rudy tried that joke on 
Oh, oh, damn it. Didn't work then. Hi. <laughs> uh, so good to see you. It feels like old times. I missed that <laughs> hug. So. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Get that press badge out of my face. Last time we had paparazzi on the case, you know, evidence went missing. Sir, I've been nominated for a Pulitzer. Archer. Yeah. Do you recognize her? No, I don't. Carrie Cooper, 24. Foreign language teacher. No record. Parents filed a missing persons three days ago. So, Abby, what do you get to say? Oh, uh, well, uh, cause of death is definitely asphyxiation, which isn't at all, you know, surprising. Time of death? Well, the body was um, still warm when it got to us. I'd say sometime between 10.30 and midnight. Uh, and I can tell you she was actually still alive when this happened. You see the uneven strokes? She struggled. Any idea what was used? A large knife, um, a box cutter, maybe? I, I can't be sure until I have something to compare it to. Oh, also, it looks like the killer redressed her after the fact. Meticulous, purposeful. Oh, and also, uh, you know, <laughs> she has seen her fair share of the inside of the ER. She's had everything from a, a broken pelvis to several broken ribs. They've healed, but they're all fairly recent. What are you thinking, like what, domestic violence? Uh, perhaps. What about these uh, contusions here? Oh, uh, severe blows to the head. I mean, I can only presume that was to knock Miss Cooper out. Okay, thanks, Abby. Yeah, sure. Like she was quite the smoker. Nasty habit. So, what is it you guys are looking for exactly? Well, I'm not quite sure. You just look at it. Oh, look at this. Look what I found. Joey Truman. Her parents said. She went out on a date with Joey. Joey. Archer? Hey, Rudy, let's get an address on this guy, Joey. That's our guy? Oh, I don't know. You know, parents didn't give me much. They, they said they knew him, but they never met him. Oh, hello. Get forensics in here. Mm, why the badge numbers? I don't know why, but it's big enough to get me out of retirement. Help you with something? Yeah. You can. I'm, I'm looking for a fella named Joey Truman. 
Maybe Where's around he? somewhere. What do you want with Joey? I don't want anything. I just want to talk to him. Huh. Yeah, yeah, he's inside. Knock yourself out. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hey, Joey, the cops are here. Police, don't move! Don't move! <laughs> Hold it, hold it, hold All it. All right. Still prefer retirement, Archer? I never preferred retirement. <sighs> well, it looks like the abuse wasn't the only thing Carrie kept from her parents. She doesn't look worried. Yeah, she didn't even ask why she was being brought in. Better let me do the questioning, otherwise her attorney will have a field day. Your show, buddy. Your show. Look, look, I'm sorry. I ran, okay? I was scared. You didn't look scared. No, you didn't look scared. Look, I've been doing so good, okay? I just been clean for a couple of months, and I just slipped up. Slipped up, that's a bit of an understatement, don't you think? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your girlfriend, Miss Carrie Cooper. You... No, no. She liked it rough sometimes. Okay, and you have it backwards. She was the aggressor. You don't think I have my own bumps and bruises from her? It went both ways. Well, that's comforting to hear. Look, I don't expect you to understand. I don't. I've never met anybody like her. And she didn't treat me like I was some screw-up. Yeah. So I was scared I was going to lose her. I freaked out. OK, we got into a fight. Did it get physical? Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't like that. OK, and I apologized like crazy. And we're working things out. When was the last time you saw her? Last week, dropped off at the school. She said she would call, but she just needed some time. Look, call her. You'll see. I didn't hurt her again, I swear. So, should we ask her now? I think it's too late. This is not Carrie. That's not, that's not her. That's what we're dealing with, Steve. No, no. What's the matter with you? 
I need to see her. Right now, I need to see her right now. Is she dead? Yes, she's <gasps> dead. No, she's not dead. No, please don't tell me that. Please don't tell me that. That's not Karen. That's not her. I need to see her right now. Let me see her. That can't happen. Please. Please don't tell me that she's... Soda? I'll, I'll get you a soda. You still think she did it? Well, she just admitted to playing rough. But does that make her a murderer? I don't know. Who knows? Sometimes they start playing and it escalates. I've seen it. No, this doesn't track. Habitual domestic violence is impulsive in nature. Our purpose calculated, methodical. She's not our guy. Oh, my God. Detectives, oh, my God. What? What the hell were you two thinking leaving a soda can in the room? Especially with Lois Lane outside your door? Have you ever heard of a paper cup? Because we have 150 of them in the break room. Yeah, look, I'm sorry I screwed up. Yeah, you're damn right you screwed up. Look, Rooney, I know what you're still going through, all right? But you have got to get your head in the case. In this case. Or you're going to have to take some more time off. No, I got this. Good, I got it. So do you have any idea, Captain, of how the girl was doing? The doctor said she was touch and go for a while, but she's stable now. Oh, that's good. She was also able to give an alibi which checks out. And Ray, you're here as a courtesy. You're not a cop anymore, so don't push it. Okay, Captain. Both of you, get the hell out of my office before I change my mind. So forensics found traces of human blood mixed with animal blood in Carrie's bedroom. Got a DNA hit on it and comes up a felon named David Green. And this is the right place? I don't know, honey. Your guess is good as mine. I looked in the PO file and this was the address. This place has become quite popular with ex-cons over the past year. Ex-cons finding Jesus. I like that. Hallelujah. Yeah. What happened? 
He's stop right there! Don't you move! Christy has Archer. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Christy? I, I, I don't, I don't know, maybe he banged his head, I don't know. You're back. Rooney! I think I'm all right. Just, just my back. Dispatch, we got an officer down at Sacred Heart Mausoleum suspect on foot over. What do we got here? What is this? So you see anything? I didn't get a good look. I don't know. Too dark. What about you, Rooney? No, I was too busy saving your ass. Thank you. Well, it does confirm it, doesn't it? What? Monroe's got a serial killer. Excuse me, sir? Yeah. The victim was Gene Wilson, recent Pearl Lee. They did a three-year stint for armed robbery. Okay. Get a bolo out on him. David Green. No need to, Detective. Sorry. Old habits. He just got here. He's here? He's over there. Uh, David? Green? That's you? Yes, that's, uh, you're David Green. Yeah, I'm, I'm David Green. Well, that's good. God. Who is John? So, Reverend, how does a uh, convicted felon uh, become a Reverend? Uh, God forgives. The church? Not so much. Uh, I had to jump through a lot of hoops in order to do the Lord's work. Um, even now, I'm all with ex-cons trying to start over. Well, Reverend, we got a problem here. I actually got two problems. Two pro I, I don't I don't follow. You see, Reverend, there's a, a dead guy swinging in your church. You knew him, right? Gene Wilson? Yeah, he was the janitor. What was he doing here so late? He cleans whenever he can. He uh he was just released and um was looking for a fresh start. What are you thinking? Uh, <laughs> Reverend, we're gonna need you to write down exactly your whereabouts the last three days. Okay, yeah, that's not a problem. Um, I was in Springfield uh, giving a guest sermon at the Unitarian Universal Church. Um, I just got back tonight. Okay. Okay. How about Miss Carrie Cooper? How did you know her? I do Cooper. I don't, I don't, I don't believe I do. You don't know her? No. Well, you're going to have to do some explaining then because your blood was in her apartment. My blood in her, I don't, I don't have it. Yeah. You're not gonna believe this. And I, frankly, I, I I still don't understand it myself. But um, a couple of months ago, I, I woke up in the middle of the night. Someone standing over me, a man, and he I, I struggled, but he, he he put something over over my face, and eventually I passed out. When I woke up, there, there was blood coming out of my arm. I mean, it was dripping down my arm. Like I'd gotten a shot or something. So, okay, so you're telling us that a guy broke into your house and stole your blood? That's the story that's, you're telling? That's, I told you, I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Well, I've heard some stories. But you know, this rings a bell to me. You know, it's a kind of a coincidence when you think of it. Last Thursday, I don't know if I told you, I woke up in the middle of the night, and for some reason, I had a pink tutu on. I'm a serious fuzzy feather sticking out of my ass. You know you're right. I don't believe.
days, uh, you know, he can't bring himself to look inside that fire. But he's unable to let it go. That's why he keeps it so close. I'm sure there's something that I think you need to look at. You want me to look at that? Please. You and I both know you're not supposed to be anywhere near here. This is important to this case. Please. At first, it, it just looks like random flash marks. I don't know. I, I think... I'm still looking into the fire. I missed it. I missed it. So much was going on at the time, you know. It was, it was all. You had no way of knowing. You didn't even know what you were looking for back then. You were too close to it. Okay. Good work, Lisa. least a dozen witnesses that can place him in that church in Springfield. And I checked out the report from three months ago. It turns out Reverend Green is telling the truth. The lab found traces of chloroform in his blood. No items were reported missing? The only thing missing was his DNA. This doesn't make any sense. No, Captain, it does. He wanted us to go to that church. This guy is definitely a psychopath. But I would classify him as an organized killer. There's nothing random or spontaneous frenzied about these attacks. They're planned. He leaves a controlled scene for us to find. I think we're looking for a white male, 25 to 35, extremely high IQ. And what about this, uh, this pighead business? Pigs, cops, maybe he's just taunting you guys. Okay, this information doesn't leave this room. Do you understand me? If the media gets a hold of this, they're gonna turn this into a frenzy in seconds. And I had it my way. You would go home now. So with Reverend Grimm's alibi checking out, then what does that mean? I mean, does this mean we're back to square one? We're not beyond square one. You see, it's all about the hangman game. So far, we have two homicides, but we have three letters, which means we haven't even found the first victim yet. And, judging by the game board, he's gonna kill seven more people. Same pattern as previous victim. Uh, Petechial hemorrhages in the eyes, but the ligature marks around the neck. The cause of death was asphyxiation. Again. Our perp's been leading us clues to the next Vic so far. We got much to go on. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? No, nothing. Time of death? Uh, sometime between 10 and midnight last night. Oh, it's 11 p.m. sharp. Uh, well, it's a little difficult to be that precise. Well, his Rolex broke right there, 11 p.m. But clearly last night that watch didn't fit him. I don't know too much about Rolex, except I do know Janet is on That's not his watch. Yeah, you want dust this for pricks. 
Oh, he's too smart for that. Tell me, 11 p.m., that'd fit into the time frame for all the victims, right? Uh, yeah, th that would be correct, Detective. What? 24 hours. Hangman is going to kill someone at 11 p.m. every 24 hours. So that gives us two and a half hours before the next victim falls. Come on, guys, what are we missing? There's got to be something. Oh, wait, uh, uh, the ligature marks, um, they weren't like the previous victim. Uh, Why? Well, the, okay, see, they were made of the pigskin. Pigskin? Yeah. I think I can help here. FDA stamps serial numbers on all their meat. So in case of contamination, they can trace it. That's it. Let's get the captain to wake up the FDA. Good stuff. You okay? Yeah. I just need to talk to you about something after this. It's fine. Guys? I don't, 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 I uh, we're lucky we even have 24 hours. They will? Hey, how come the meat isn't frozen? How cold is it in here? What about the thermostat? It's uh, 37 degrees. Oh, 
Well, none of that meat's frozen in there. So how come our guy's frozen stiff? Well, he's not a, a slab of meat. And he has more water density. So any prolonged exposure, even at that temp, would cause him to decompose. Well, he hasn't been here long, has he? How long has he been here? This place been open all day. So, you know, you would think someone might have seen a stiff dead guy hanging in. Don't you think? Yeah, I agree, yes. Now, if his body was wet, would that make him freeze faster? Oh, yes, uh, of course it would. Archer, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking when I want my beer to chill faster, I wrap it in a wet paper towel. He was already wet before he was brought in. There you go. I think this boy wants us to sweep the river. Archer, I think you should tell him. Yeah. You know how many hundreds of families I had to tell you? grotesque story how their loved one died but it was nothing like this okay so uh can you give me a minute yeah of course yeah. here's the photo <clears throat> it's taking too long Eight hours, 46 minutes, my bullshit game. I know that look, Archer. Just say what you gotta say. I need to, I need to show you something. What? From Jess's file. Jess's file? It's a photo. A photo from Jess's file, Archer? What, what the hell are you doing? Well, look, we both know. She put up a fight. We missed it. Missed what? Yeah. There's a letter V carved in our chest. This was his first victim. No, Archer, no. This is... This is a completely different M.O., Archer. She wasn't hung. We didn't know the M.O. at, at the time we found it. Archer, it's a different M.O. She wasn't hung. He wasn't hung because he was interrupted from his rituals. He didn't get a chance to hang. You understand? Why don't you walk me through what happened right before he went through the door? Just called me up. Told me to come home. Said we should try and work things out. So I got home. I parked my car in the driveway. Went down the back. Picked some tulips to give her. You know, just like I, I used to. Yeah, I would have given him a chance someone was there and uh, that would have stopped him. Or he was still in the house while she was in my arms. He 
Easy, Marie. Easy. No time, Archer. What's that sound? Look at this. This is a Cooper school. This is a replica of Monroe. I think I know now where we're going to find our next victim. This is the first story of life. Let's go. Astoria line at Columbia and Harrison. This is an emergency. Shut that line down. He may still be alive because we beat the cypher's timeline. Where did I see him? There he is. I could have saved him. He was dead before the train hit. That is bullshit! You're the only one could have been saved. That was not your call to make. It was not your call to make! Uh, my call? It was my not. call, you know? I'll tell you what my call is. My call is that you're chasing a ghost. You're chasing a ghost, buddy, and that will get you killed. That's for sure. Is that what you want? I don't give a fuck. That's right. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck about what? Your life? You don't care if you die, do you? Let's all die. Come on. That's easy. Then we don't have to worry about Jessica anymore. Or the hangman. Let's all die. Should have never told you. That was a mistake. What? You are cracking, man. I'm cracking? Yes, you are. I'm cracking. That's right. You're the one who left, okay? Oh, you man. left. I left. I stayed now. on the force. You left. You rewrite history. I retired. I didn't quit. You guys, knock it off! You begged me to get back. I came back. And I've been with you ever since. And I'm glad. I am. I have no regrets here. I have no regrets about being. Listen to me. I know how much it means to you to catch this guy. I know that. And I feel like that myself. You understand? I love Jessica. 
like she was my child. You know. Sorry, man. I. We're gonna find this guy. Understand what I'm saying? I messed up, man. I messed up. I'm sorry. We're gonna find him. I promise you that. Well. Right now, we're breaking into your regular programming for this emergency report. We're told there's a serial killer loose in Monroe. One of the most shocking serial killers. Residents are living in fear as another gruesome discovery has been made. Police are finding victims hung by a noose. The news there's a serial killer loose in Monroe. Full story at 11. Carved in the body. The public is dubbing the killer the hangman. Let's turn that shit off. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what do we got? Well, forensics are still scraping the tracks. You know, they're not coming up with much. The lab reports came in. There's nothing on the shirt. Blood, DNA? Victims. Well, it must be something. Let's run some more tests. There's nothing. There's no fibers. There's no animal hairs. There's nothing. Where are you going? We have less than 30 minutes. Okay? Nobody goes home tonight. Keep working. Find something. Take it. You didn't get any rest. No, you? I don't rest. Uh, ever. This damn game. Every scene has a lead to the next bit, but this one, I just can't see it. Well, I think he's just messing with us, really. We outsmarted him at the track. You outsmarted him. Got ahead of the timeline. The tide would have revealed that car when it was too late to stop him. He doesn't want us to save anyone. He wants the game to continue. Well, we got pretty close. Yeah. We almost saved that guy. Let's face it. Tell that to his family. Do you guys think it means anything? All the other victims were left hanging for us to see. But this victim got taken out by the train. The hangman wanted us to see him get hit. Train. How did he know? Know what? How did he know that Eric Anderson had a model train set in his basement? I mean, there's got to be a connection. Detective Rooney, forensics finally found a finger on the tracks. They got a hit off the prince, 46 years old, Nathan Shine. Nathan Shine. Nathan Shine. Oh. Did the captain come in today? Is the captain here? No, sir. She's not here today. Who the hell's Nathan Shine? Nathan Shine is the drunk that run her off the road, crippling her. He's got her. He's got the captain. Let's go. <laughs> How long for SWAT? Five away. Keep his perimeter locked down. No one in or out. Christy, stay here. <coughs> Rooney, she's still alive. Archer, stop! Stop! Drew Myers. Hey, let's see if the bitch has got the place ranked. Okay, dispatch. Rooney, probable 1089. Over. I got it. I got it. Get this thing off from me. That's it. Breathe. Just breathe. That's it. Breathe. Just, breathe. Just, breathe. Just, breathe. Just get it out. See, he never finished carving the letter. He's still here. The suspect's still on site. Send him back up. Be advised of our trip wires.
about slowly with your hands where I can see him. Deceased male. Archer, he's a cop. There, there, there. Wait, Wait hold on. Hold on. Motorcycle heading east on Jefferson. All units respond. How you holding up? Slight concussion, but no big deal. No uh, you know, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. <laughs> Thank you. Christy. Listen, uh, I've been thinking. Maybe you should walk away. This is getting dangerous. I just feel like we were lucky, you know? One scar's enough already. Hey, babes. You gotta move. So what are we gonna do with the captain? I mean, I think she should be questioned. She's the only one saw the hanging. Already did. She didn't get a look. She was jumped from behind. What a fight she put up, huh? In a wheelchair. Yeah, wheelchair, no wheelchair. That's one tough cop. Got nothing from the motorcycle. Stolen, no prints. Figures with this guy. How are you doing, Christy? You okay? I was doing this piece on drug cartels, and it was in the middle of nowhere, and I was going to my car late at night, and I just felt like something bad was gonna happen. 
there was this guy and he just came up um, behind me and he knocked me down and he just started beating me. He had a knife to my neck. I didn't know if I was gonna live or not. The detective who was assigned to the case, Detective Michael, he vowed to find the guy who did this to me. I don't know why. I don't know why he cared so much. But he did, he found him, he found the guy. And the guy shot him. Detective Michaels had a wife, a little girl. People don't understand why you guys do what you do. They don't understand how much you give up and how much you sacrifice. So this story, it's not about me, it's about, it's about him, it's about you, it's about you guys. So I'm not, I'm not giving up. I guess you guys are stuck with me. He's killed four people in four days, one every 24 hours. He doesn't stop. That's part of the game. He kills Jessica and he stops for a year. You want to put a, a new team on Jessica's murder? Archie, we had four homicides in four days. We don't have the resources to put a team well, on a homicide that happened a year ago. Days. It's not about resources, man. Something happened. It's very obvious. Look, I agree with you. There's a gap. I know, there's a gap. Between murders. So let's just talk about it. What does it mean? Okay, look. There are only three reasons why a serial killer stops. One, they die. That hasn't happened. Two, we catch him. That hasn't happened. Or three, they're in prison on an unrelated charge. Well, that sounds like possible. In, in jail for some unrelated charge. So, why don't we get one of the techies to look at everybody who was put in prison from the time that Jess was murdered to the time Reverend Green's blood was taken? Nine month period. Well, it's gonna yield hundreds, maybe thousands of. Yeah, that's the problem. We don't have the time, so we need to figure out a way to refine the search. But I, I think that this is personal to you guys. He put your badge numbers on that desk for a reason. He's right, he called us out. So let's refine the search to us. Everyone you arrested in this past year, everyone I arrested. Detectives.
the son of a bitch killed Joey as a payback to us for saving the cat. He's that kind of guy. Please, tell me you got some. I searched the records and used the filters for the date range you gave me. Yeah, and? 26 arrests in your time parameters. Five released in time to be your guy. Put it up. That's all right. So, who might that be that fits the profile? Adam Kellerman. Adam Kellerman. Pull up Adam Kellerman. Yeah, here we go. Kellerman, Adam, assault with a deadly weapon. Look at his address. And home. Toys and more. Eric Anderson. Eric Anderson's basement was full of toys. Give us those shots from, uh, from Anderson. It's familiar? Train set. Son of a bitch sold it to me. I bet. Get Westland down here. Get the prints off the wall. Run them against Kellerman. This is Rooney. Let's get forensics up here. We have a deceased male. Right Got powder residue in his face. Paint bucket there. That's what we found. Will. Will. I think we got the son of a bitch. You know, maybe it's not the way we wanted it, but it's better than him winding up in some prison playing cards every night to his heart's content. So it's over. Over. Yes, it could be. I think maybe. I should check down at the station house and go over Kellerman's background. You know, Chris, why don't you go on back home, honey? I think uh, it's been a long day. I got an officer here to take you back. Call me if you guys find anything. Yeah. This guy went to extreme lengths to get our attention. He made sure we followed every lead, found every victim. So why off yourself before the game's finished? I mean, we don't even know what the word is. And guys like this, like Bundy, Gacy, Ramirez, they don't just stop, Archer. So what are you saying to me? 
you, 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 you want this thing to make some kind of sense and tie it up in some way. That's not the world, you know. You're still young enough to believe it is, but things like sense and logic, you know, they, uh, they quit having any effect. I could never look at things from your perspective. I never will. I'm not asking you to. Maybe you're not ready to let this whole thing go. Because that would mean, in a way, that you're giving up on Jessica. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not. But I need to be sure, Roger. I need to be sure. That's an impossible wish, but go for it. Let's go see Kristen. Listen to her recordings. Maybe she's got something. Sure, why not? Spirit of sense and logic. I will go. Still not answering. Christy! Christy! Oh, Damn it. I'm gonna run a trace on that phone. Yeah. Oh, hold it, hold it. Told her to walk away. Oh, oh my God. I know who the killer is. Call dispatch, have him on a check. I'm the guy that sideswiped me last year. Christy, let's have a little smile. Our viewers are waiting. They're gonna track that feed and they're gonna come for me. Can you hear them? Can you hear them coming? Can you? Never came for me. You think I didn't think of that? You see, the thing is, you have plenty of time before the cops show up. But, uh, unfortunately, no. It was part of the foster system. Next to kid. Uh, next to kin, next to kin. Uh, Veronica Townsend was his last foster parent. Huh? What birth parents? Birth, birth parents. Uh, Dorothy Stewart, OD 97. Uh, George Stewart, 98 suicide. D George Stewart hung himself. Hung himself. I think I know where he's going to take her and why. What's the date of his father's death? Wait a minute. Uh, October 9, 1998. He's celebrating. The anniversary of the death of his father. That's 20 years to the day. Holy shit. Archer, where are we going? Oh, 
hung himself in front of his child. He did it at one of them pig farms off of 28. Pig farm off 28? Archer Christie's not there. What do you mean? Those pig farms are gone. They're gone. What are you saying to me? That whole place got developed. There are condos and golf courses now. You serious? Rooney. Hey, guys, okay, we've got visual confirmation that Christie is still alive from a live feed that he is broadcasting on the internet. Son of a bitch. You guys got a trace on that? No, no time for a trace, Captain. What are you seeing? It's hard to see. I, I see. I see marble walls. Uh, I, I see plaques. There's lots oh of plaques. Oh, my God. Rooney, where's he buried? Where's his father buried? Okay, so it's the state's responsibility to bury the destitute in a, in a public graveyard. So where's the closest public graveyard? Public mortuaries. We got St. Catharines, St. Joseph's. Holy oh, shit. Archer. Sacred Heart Mausoleum. That's it. He's coming together. He wants us there, Rooney. Only we gotta beat his timeline. That's how we knew the Reverend Green. How far away is SWAT? They're approximately 20 minutes out, so please, please tell me that you guys are closer. We'll be there at 7. I want all my units at that location now. Now! Go! 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 Why the, why the game? Why the hangman game? I don't know. This one just kind of stuck with me. And also, there's a slight thrill in being in control. You know, it's an exhilarating feeling. You know, being able to tell who lives and who dies. And that justifies killing innocent people. You should really feel privileged. Because I'm about to give you a double value letter. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. I have, I have more questions. Why do you redress the, the people? If you just kill them, why do you redress them? I used to work nights in a department store. I used to dress the mannequins. <laughs> they had to be perfect. And I was in control. So this is it's all about control. And I get that. I get that. Something happened to you in your past, and you want to make it right. You think you understand me? You think you understand me? You don't know shit! You people don't know anything. You want to see control? You want to see control? I mean, I'll flick the switch now. I don't have to wait. 10.58, two minutes. I don't need that. You want to see control? What? Fuck you! If you're going to kill me, just kill me. Just do it already. I got the spirit. <laughs> Just waiting for one more player. Can you feel it? Huh? One minute to go. He's not coming to save you. Trying to smell like pig shit. Your time is up. Jimmy, 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 it's Archer. Uh, oh, oh, Jimmy, no, 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 just, just hold it, hold it a second. It's me. Don't detect it. Let's just talk for a minute, you and I, Jimmy. I remember the last time I saw you, you were just. Up to here, just a little boy, about five or six years old. I was a cop. I was doing my job. You got your daddy. When that day was over, I washed my hands of you. <laughs> I did. I know I did. And I know now that was a mistake. It was a tragic mistake. Jimmy, I remember those little eyes looking at me as if. I was the one who killed your father, but I didn't. I didn't do it. He hung himself. I was there, Jimmy. I was there witnessing that trauma that changed your whole life. Don't you patronize me? Oh, come on now. You don't need to do it. I'm not going to do it. Don't you take another step. What am I going to do to you? You tell me. I left you, Jimmy, I know. And I forgot whatever happened to that little boy. You want to know what happened to that little boy, Jimmy? After losing my father in that house, I went through years of brutal pain. 
pain that you could only read about in your stupid fucking police files. But you got no idea, do you? No idea. If I'd have done something, if I had followed through, if I had inquired even about how you were doing it, was, it would have been different, I'm sure. You know what? Fuck you! I've achieved heights of greatness that flatfoots like you only dream of. And you know what? You know who's to thank? Detective. You know who kept me going through all those years of abuse and neglect? You know who that was? It's you, Detective Archer. It's you. I could have helped you. I know that deep inside my heart. Let me take this young woman's place. Don't. I was too damn callous. I had no empathy, and that is unforgivable. I'm not asking for forgiveness. All I'm asking you to do for me now is let this woman go. Dick. Do you really need her when you want me? That's why this whole game is taking place because of me. Don't you mind fuck me! No, I'm not doing that at all. Listen to me. Let's be fair. I'll stand in her place right now. Don't do it, Jimmy. Let's take her down for me. <laughs> Should she die for what I did? No, 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 Jimmy, don't hurt! <laughs> Archer. Archer. Archer.
Mr. Children, 